It's not very friendly. Mess with the zombies in the basement or keep looking around. Really want to know what kind of basement this is. Still can't. Not much I can do about it without turning on features I don't want to turn on. I'm not even sure those work for this situation. Let's uh, close the door. Wait here a few. So he decided to come upstairs and make some noise. Let's maneuver him back over here. But he made a mess. And we got grabbed. Please kill him. That's the advantage for the axe. Um, we can two-shot most of the zombies. The regular zombies. And they're easy to hit. It's just the kid zombies that I'm really fearful of. Another standard backpack. Boxing. Cookies. Give me the cookies. And we'll hold off on anything else for now. Ooh, a hot plate. I'll take a hot plate. I have no space for the hot plate. Five volume, huh? All my pockets are out. We could put another backpack on. Let's... Multi-tool, that's just going to get me... Eh, it gets me level one metal sawing and wood sawing as well as... Bolt turning. All right, we'll grab the multi. I'm going to flip a flashlight on. All right, well, that's it. So, empty basement, good to know about. Go ahead and throw this other backpack on. Finish grabbing the hot plate. Nothing else. How much water? 89, 89 clean water. That's good to know about. Do I still have a gallon jug of something with me? No, I already ditched that. So it's just regular stuff that are filling up my inventory. All right. That's fine. Eighty-nine clean water in basement. So house is clear. Um, we've got retreat paths. We've got lots of places we can go. So that's great. So cleared, cleared, cleared. I want to say there was something over here that was bugging me. I don't remember if I got chased out of here before I fully explored it or if it were, or I think I remember seeing roaches somewhere else. I can't remember where. All right, let's pop a window open for easy access from this direction. And we'll head back to base, drop some stuff off. Hard arm guards, those would be my backup pair. Vitamins are still useless, yes. 
Vitamins are for RP purposes only. <laughs> For folks that don't know, vitamins have no actual in-game negative effects. No matter how scary the messages get, they don't actually apply any negative consequences to you. So if you want to play with vitamins, feel free. Play with vitamins and uh, pay attention to the messages and take your multivitamins and balance your diet and uh, keep the scary messages away. But it's purely a voluntary thing because no matter how bad you get, how negative your vitamin count is, you will have no negative consequences applied to your character. Been that way for extremely long time. I wouldn't expect it to change at least before the next uh, the next experimental pass. Once we get past zero dot f. Okay. Um, mm hmm. Now, the problem is that it's all the experts that like to dig into the, the JSONs and tell me, point to me to code that shows the vitamin messages and how they are working in game. And <laughs> I have to have that conversation so many times. Getting kind of old. Oh, doo -doo. Let's see. All right, let's head back out again. We're going to try to go northwest this time, I think. Uh oh. Full strength zombie. No terrain I can usually use real close. I'd rather not lead him back to the house I'm in. Vitamins do not help with the health stat. Way, way, way back in 0.c and or earlier, it used to help with health stat. It hasn't in five years or something like that. It's been a very long time since vitamins did anything to the health stat. That's yet another myth that keeps getting handed down and down and down to newer players that's not true any longer and hasn't been for a very long time. So, no. Vitamins have absolutely no connection to the health stat and uh, do absolutely nothing. They're not connected to anything. <laughs> there's no benefit, there's no negative. We'll just let him... Oh, crap. All right. Uh, yeah. Oh, boy. It's going to take me too long to scramble over the fence. I'm going to get bit or hit multiple times. Let's try to back away. Still not liking the terrain here. Ah, I was really hoping to get a... <laughs> I was really hoping to kill the zombie dog. Ow! Ow! Backpack, trench coat, and shirt all ripped by one bite. <laughs> nice. Good job, zombie dog. That's uh that's quite the quite the gnarly bite you got there. <laughs> Alright, I don't know how many times I can say this, how many different ways. Yes, it makes no difference. It tracks vitamins, it gives you scary messages, they do nothing. <laughs> There's no actual damage. No matter how low your vitamin A gets, you will never lose night vision. <laughs> so, don't sweat the vid A. I mean, if you want to, fine. I mean, if you find it interesting to play with the vitamin system, then take your multivitamins and eat your foods and you won't get those messages. But if you do get them, you can ignore them. They don't actually do anything. Ah, uh, zombie dog. That's, what, four swings and four misses? So, children and uh, zombie dogs. <laughs> the things I really don't want to face. We're up to, I think, six misses now. And I'm starting to run out of stamina. Seven misses. Eight misses. Nine misses. Ten misses. Eleven misses. <laughs> 12. Oh, it's so bad. It's so bad. Uh, I think I am. It's only throwing me off a little bit. They, they don't have 
Everybody keeps asking me about the backpacks. Come on, folks, learn how things work. <laughs> That's my encumbrance with two backpacks. It was 14 without, it's, it's 16 with. I'm not having my combat affected by having the backpacks on. <laughs> if they were full of stuff, it would be a different conversation and you would be absolutely correct. But because they're not, they're, they're empty, they're not actually adding any, any noticeable encumbrance. So that is not what's causing this problem. This is just zombie dogs. It's a bad weapon to try to fight zombie dogs with. <laughs> ah, I'm up to 12 or 14 misses so far. <laughs> Let's see. I am grabbed currently. The zombie got a grab on me, which is also very bad. I need to... Ah, oh shit. Now we got a third. This is where things are going very, very poorly. Uh, we're in big danger now. Now we're in big danger. Two and a half bars of stamina. No good terrain nearby. Three enemies, all full strength. All nearly full strength. Climb the roof where? North of me? <laughs> yeah, well. Uh, what to do, what to do. The best thing to do right now would be to lose pursuit. Preferably not into the building I'm using as my base. The problem being the distance to uh, doors before I run out of stamina. And the chance that I'm going to get grabbed again on my way and have three things hitting me simultaneously. Climbing up on the roof is one possibility. It's still a long run to get to that drain pipe. They'll then destroy the drain pipe under me. And um, I've got no other drain pipes to climb down. So then I'd have to drop off the roof, which has its own damage or dangers. It's not guaranteed that you can climb up a drain pipe. It uses a formula system. So depending on your stats, your abilities, your traits, your weight, your encumbrance, all that kind of stuff figures in. Usually my luck when I demonstrate is to uh, immediately slip and fall off and, you know, break a bunch of stuff. I'm not likely to be able to get that door open and then closed without somebody stepping into it. And then I don't have, well, I sort of have a fallback door. But I'd have to move up into the uh, range of both of those. I'd have to move there, they get hits. I'd have to move there, they, or open that, they'd probably get hits. I'd have to move, they'd move. I'd have to move again. Pain is rocket, rocketing up, so my, my speed is going to be decreasing. Stats are dropping, so it's going to get harder to break grabs. There's, there's a lot of factors here. The only alternative to that is straight across to the west into that other house and try to get through the doors problem is just the current stamina and if I meet anything over there I'm basically going to be done if I were going to do it I think I would aim for that window because that gives me multiple options once I go in I've got another door close and then another door so I could go in Closed door, closed door. That's assuming I can make it far enough. I like that idea better than the other direction. So we're going to try it. I It's going to be dicey. This uh, I'm not going to lie. This is exactly the, prop, the situation you try to avoid. I got unlucky with that child zombie adding in. And, you know, missing a zombie dog 14 times. <laughs> That's not helpful either. Uh... Yeah, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So the grab is gone. We got hit. Keep moving. Zombie dog. See, that the additional problem is the dog is going to be so quick, I probably won't be able to get a door closed behind me. Oh, please don't be somebody else adding in. Unless I can get this, this dog... Oh, there's a zombie child waiting for me. <laughs> This is going to be a short one this evening. We're going to die real soon if something doesn't get real lucky right damn now. 
Just need to get to that door and get it closed behind me before the dog gets to me. All right, that's stage, that's step one. Now I got another decision to make. I thought I saw a sound symbol down here. So I'm thinking I might go out this way and then come back across and then use the chain link fence. There's a chance the dog's gonna bring that door down real fast, so. Man, I, I really wish I hadn't seen that that sound symbol to the south there. Alright, we gotta walk. We gotta pray there's nobody to the north of me. This this is just one of those situations. Let's see, I could go into this house. Now they're still going to be able to follow the scent trail. Alright, now we've got enough distance and enough barriers. I doubt they're going to get to me before I can get my stamina reset. So I'm going to stand right here. Hope there's nobody close that'll get my scent trail. We're just going to wait till I get my, my, my breath back. Yep, alright, we cleared them. <laughs> Now, I am really, really not enthused about trying to climb a, a drain pipe. <laughs> really, I'm not. <clears throat> when you know there's a formula involved, and you know the things that are in the formula, and I don't have any of the things that will improve my chances, I'm really scared of climbing, climbing drain pipes. So... <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm happy for you. You do it all the time. I do it semi-regularly to an, a live stream audience and fall on my ass. So <laughs> I'll take my uh, my experience over your doing it all the time. I think this is uh, an abandoned house from what it looked like. I don't think there's anything in here or uh, a house being uh, being built still. Can't close a window that doesn't exist. That is fine. So, yeah, this kind of flooring kind of gives it away. All right, so there's nothing going to be in this house. Oh, wait. Except for zombies in the basement. <laughs> or a pack of zombie dogs in the basement. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Oh, believe me, I'm not downplaying your experience. The point is, I know exactly how it works. <laughs> and people tell me, I do it all the time. Well, sure, and you're probably doing fast reflexes and parkour and high dodge and low encumbrance and so on, which are all benefits to actually doing it. And you just don't even know that there's a formula. And you're shimmying up and down pipes all the time and having a grand old time. Me, I play terrible characters with no skills and uh, all that kind of stuff. And... Uh, it uh, drops me commonly. Let's uh, let's run for it <laughs> before the dogs come streaming out of the basement. See if they follow me. They did not. All right. So damn, basements are rough. Basements are rough in this neighborhood. So we got our block completely looked at, except for this side over here, which I'm not too worried about. This is a living room and the dining room. Uh, I'm not likely to find anything over there. So I'm not going to head back that direction, but um, we got everything else done. Unfortunately, that means I have to travel further and further away. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. <laughs> you even dropped me with a grappling hook once. That's 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 good times. You know you're having fun when you properly use a grappling hook and still fall on your ass. <laughs> um what do you think? Do I try to shimmy dive my way down to the library? So we've got some vehicles in the area that I can use for cover. Attempt to use recover. We'll, we'll give it a try. I'll try to work my way back south. We had that crowd that was chasing me around, so we might re-engage as I try to maneuver that way. I think what I'll do is I'll go over the fence, come over the fence here, and then we'll come back out the front. 
and try to leave this area alone. So chain link fences are awesome. Use them. Just be aware that when you first try to climb, it's going to take you some time. So if something's right behind you, real close, they might have time to hit you before you make it over. And you might fail to climb. So be a little cautious. But it's great for just hopping back and forth over when something's pursuing you. Because they can't climb, so they have to destroy it to get to you. You can also shoot guns and arrows. Arrows? Can arrows go through chain link? I had a conversation about that recently. I can't remember what the what the what the answer was. <laughs> I haven't tried bows and arrows in a long time. Ranged fire generally will go through it, but another important factor to know is that it will block the ranged attack of any zombies. So if you've got a shock zombie, for example, chasing you, if you hop a chain link fence, he will not be able to shock you because the chain link blocks is essentially the line of sight for his ability. So you can use chain link fences to get away from ranged fire from the enemies. All right, back to walk mode. Uh, I did not get anything accomplished. Tell you what, we'll go ahead and ditch the backpack, the spare. Uh, let's swap them, unload that one. Drop the damaged one. Uh-oh, my leather pants are getting tore up too. Oh, that's right. I need to uh <laughs> I need to prioritize the backpack again. All right, backpack, you get priority 10. Unload the pants and everything should go into the backpack. Yep, you can use chain link fences as Faraday cages, correct. Yeah, I'm getting a little worried about my clothing. All right, let's try to go out the front way. Puts me in proximity of the park that has been generously, you know, sending kids to check up on me regularly. See how I'm doing. See if I have joined the zombie club yet. Hey there, Batwing Zombie. Full strength. Uh, I don't know. I haven't fought enough of these guys. I don't know how hard this guy's going to be to hit with an axe. <laughs> so, we're still in moderate pain, too. I probably should have waited out some of the pain. Let's take a swing. Let's, let's back him up, actually. Oh, crap. Got a grab on me. 54. Ooh, so close to dropping him with one swing. And then he gets a hit on me. Of course he does. And he brought me a Glock 19 with 12 out of 15 rounds in the clip. Let's see. Somebody might follow me back downstairs here. <laughs> Need to get some more adhesive bandages. This myriad of uh, nicks and cuts I keep getting. <laughs> Damn. Uh, ouch. All my poor clothing. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and take a codeine. We're going to wait out a little bit of uh, time. That pain down a little bit. There we go. Okay, now the painkiller effect is slowing me down. <laughs> Love it. You can either be slow because of pain, or you can be slow because of painkiller. <laughs> Welcome to being slow. Somebody over there was making some noise. I'll go ahead and go safe mode on and just start moving. Full strength, huh? Ah. <laughs> zombie kids. So many zombie kids. Ah! Alright, let's just lead them away. 
I'm faster than them at the moment because I'm in good shape, so we'll just let them follow my scent trail. Bring them away from my house. I got plenty of maneuvering options available to me and all that. I'm not low on stamina, so the better move is just to walk away. Okay, vehicles. I don't remember if I checked these early. We got wheels. We got no controls. You're not going anywhere. Zombies following me still. Wheel security system is in place. No battery, no gas, leather seat. So it's a luxury car. We'll remember the location just so I can take the seats apart for leather later. All right. Now that they're making noise, they're going to attract their own buddies to that spot if they don't keep chasing me. So, see if there's any any gear. No, no gear. Let's back go that way. Whoops. Damn it, stupid kid zombies. I hate you so much. I hate you so much. <laughs> Sliced my leather pants again. They're about to fall off. Um, try to run around and scoot my way into the library. I didn't really. I probably should have come with uh, that extra backpack for this. I really don't want to try to fight this zombie child, so we're going to avoid. Pray we don't meet anybody else on our way to the front door. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna rename this damn series. Uh, it's gonna be the I Hate Zombie Child series. I hate them. I hate them so freaking much. Now the damage or the danger is they're gonna come piling in behind me. Oh, that was terrible movement. All right, what do we got? Crafty crafters, beginning crafters, antique, big book of first aid, ooh, emergency care. So there's a lot of first aid. Armor smithing, so a lot of fab, a lot of first aid. There it better be. I hope this doesn't, I hope this isn't bookshelves all the way to the back. <laughs> it's going to suck if it's bookshelves all the way to the back. Oh, man. I think I might leave these for now. We'll grab that one. Alright, we do have an opening. I definitely need that. That. Actually a big one as well. We're going to have to make another pass back through to grab some of these other fab books. Everything along that, that wall here is all just happy books. The books are sorted by groups per shelf section. Uh, there's Computer Science 101, so now we've, we'll have up to... Uh, mid-level robots for fun and profits not worried about electronics for the moment one oh one three oh one no SICP though huh All the chemistry books and higher level sewing book. Yep, no SICP, which is fine. Um, surprised I can still pick book pick pick books up. There we go. That's what I was waiting for. All right, let's leave. Well, 
I'm gonna leave robots. Alright, hopefully they have shuffled around. I can sneak my way back out the front now as they follow me in a circle. Hey, zombie child. I should still be faster than you. Uh-oh. Somebody's been killing zombies over here. Hmm. Let's go... That direction. Zombie child's pacing me. Whoops. So, the big thing to note here is I'm moving around with, you know, no real night vision and, and no skills and strats and traits and so on is... Uh, Stamina management, I'm switching to run mode just for a step or two, and then I'm immediately going back to walk mode. Because I know I'm faster than them as long as I maintain my stamina, so all I need to do is get a couple of spaces away and then peel them off against vehicles and things like that with my scent trail. So, they are following me, but I'm going to try to uh, walk them into vehicles and things like that if I can manage it. Damn zombie child, you... You guys are really starting to annoy me. <laughs> See, there's a there's an interesting maneuver by the zombie child, cutting off my movement. Do I want to go through the building? We heard uh, something in there earlier. Yep, something's coming out to meet me. Uh, all right, no one's. Ask the zombie child. I'm getting a little concerned about my burn rate. We're down a bar and some on stamina, so my cost per space is going up significantly. We're at 130 now. That's not good. It needs to be like 111. <laughs> so understand that as your stamina drains, your cost to move a space increases, and these three things will get you in trouble really, really quickly if you don't understand what's happening. So, that's why I, I insist that the number one player killer is that stamina bar. Especially new players that don't understand the system and the consequences for uh, what's going to happen when they burn that stamina. Do not, do not, do not just start sprinting away from zombies. That is an awesome way to get yourself killed. Very, very, very commonly. Let's grab some toastums. Uh, whoops, apparently not. Right, I was making the approach to my house. And I got the zombie child behind me still. <laughs> um, hmm. I think I'm going to loot back. Or not. I was hoping to loop back and use the vehicle. Let's see. Getting more and more concerned about my stamina and the scent trail that these guys are, are clustering on. I need to get my stamina back here pretty soon. Being out in the middle of the road with uh, heavily depleted stamina is a terrible tactical position. Problem is, I've got stuff kind of clustered up in this area, which is where I want to go. I, I'm deathly afraid of coming straight across because of the proximity to the, the park and all the zombies that have been appearing over here. I think the road here is just probably chock full of additional ones. So, it's getting a little messy here. I might have to retreat all the way back and try to lose things in the house here. I just, I need to get out of the streets, the middle of the street. But this is the kind of thing I considered when I decided to make the trip over here. I look at these kinds of things, uh, nearby buildings, cars that I can use for exactly that kind of a purpose, as uh, blockers as I scoot around the edges to peel zombies off behind me, as well as things I can move into and then through where they all pile up and try to follow me. These are the kinds of things I'm looking for and looking at as I'm making those decisions. <clears throat> Mm, 
dare I just go to the right? I'm going to try to peel back up north as quickly as I can. I just want to be far enough that my steps don't attract those guys that are banging on the vehicle. The noise they're making is keeping the zombies in that area uh, over there because they're attracted to noise. So once I can get north of them, we should be okay. Yeah, I think we'll be okay now. Assuming I can get into the house quietly. I think I'm going to wrap all the way up north. Of, damn it! <laughs> uh, just not going to let me have it easy, are you, game? Whoa! Alright, well I wasn't doing as good a job at uh, losing pursuit as I thought I was. Hmm. Three bars. Similar situation to what we had last time. And if I go into that house... I, I lured things into that house last time. I really don't want to fight these zombie kids with an axe. Wow, we're up to three children plus the regular zombie now. Oh, it's taking me so many moves. So many moves. Single space, I'm up to 143. That is very, very bad. Very, very bad. No! <laughs> Alright, it's starting to look pretty bad again. Oh, crap. I gotta go north. Ah, oh, you got into the doorway before I could get to get the thing closed. I did that one poorly. I should have timed that differently. And if I kill him in that space, I can't close the door. Other stuff's coming up behind. 140 to move a space. Getting dicey. Ah, damn it. I can't get away from these kids. Mm. Nah, I mean, I've now doubled my torso encumbrance because the backpack is full of gear, so it's going to be pretty ugly for me to either climb drain spouts or to swing this axe at uh, zombies. I haven't been able to stop and actually kill things, so we're just getting a larger and larger accumulation of zombies right here in this little area. Um. Mm Whoops. <laughs> Whatever just happened there, I didn't mean to do it. My my board on my uh, my headset moved, and I went to grab it, and I accidentally tapped a key. So, bleeding heavily. Well, bleeding from three locations. Torso's at three bars. We're tired. We're low stamina. We got multiple child zombies. I'm really not liking what's happening here. 148 to move a space. Big pile of things following me. I'm really tempted to just bring whatever's with me down into the basement and swap to the bat and just beat him to death with the bat. <laughs> just not sure I can make it there without a million things coming down after me and me being totally out of stamina. But, that's what we're going to give a try. So, drop the axe. Really want to drop the backpack, too. Uh, uh, how many hits are they going to get on me as I try to ditch this backpack? None? 
There's a chance they won't come after me, which is part of the weirdness of stairs and Z-levels and zombies. So I was also banking on a fairly high percent chance that uh, nothing would come down after me. All right, let's go ahead and keep retreating back up to the terrain advantage location. Don't have any bandages with me now. I'm not going to worry about that. All right, nothing, nothing followed me. So we made the right play, I think. We uh, <laughs> we we rolled the dice and uh, we we came up lucky on that one. Uh, this is not the new queen playthrough. Nope, <laughs> that one uh, that one finished up a while back. All right, uh, so we got the books back. I think I'm going to be continuously interrupted, just like we were previously, though. I've got, let's see, let's ditch leather pants. Care about those anyway. Wear the cargo pants instead. Have any other shirts? Clean shirts? I think I have any other clean shirts nearby. Watch, I'll throw the backpack on and stuff will start showing up. <laughs> oh yeah, it's not going to show up until I turn the light on and start uh, start reading out loud to myself in a shouty voice. No pain. So our movement's back down to 115. 115 seems a little higher than I'm, I remember. Is it the boots making us 115? I did switch to uh, hiking boots. Maybe that's what's... All right, but we should be okay if something shows up. We got options, finally. Let's uh, definitely throw some bandages on, though. Oh, <laughs> and there it is. <sighs> All right, how many swings is it going to take to get to the center of a, a juicy child Tootsie Pop? 32, stun. I'm still backing off. Bill took a hit and, as always, immediately started bleeding. I swear. It, it feels 100%. I mean, I'll have to do some actual empirical testing, but it feels like it's a 100% chance for zombie children to make you bleed. <clears throat> Try this again. Standard bandage. Torso. And... I am out of standard bandages. Activate. Kindle. What did I have in progress crafting? Oh, that's right. Those stupid light gloves are going to take a million years. <laughs> here, let's let's go hide you up here so I don't have to look at your stupid in crafting message. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm not interested in the damage resistance. <clears throat> I'm interested in the chance for a bleed to occur. If I'm standing there naked and I get hit by a zombie, am I going to get a bleed every single time? Because it doesn't happen with regular zombies. So I don't know if zombie children have a special tag for it or, or what. It just feels like every single hit from uh, zombie children causes uh, the bleed wound. Probably just me, you know, me and the insane amount of adhesive bandages I've been going through. Uh, I have no other bandages, right? Nope. And I have... A... Got the first aid kit box with me. We're using the bandages out of the box. I have no... No more um, of the other medical items either. All right, we're gonna have to make some makeshift bandages then. And again, 
Here we go. I just... I hate these guys so much. It's just so annoying. Especially in this situation where they're just gonna keep... They're just gonna keep coming. Let's finish the bandages. Uh, very poor, average, very poor. I think some of that is the other kind of bandage, though. Um, I have no antiseptic. Hmm. Hmm. We are we are distinctly lacking a few things then. All right. Well, I guess we're not going to get the benefit of that. I gotta I gotta track down some uh, some medical gear. So we're not quite done with the library yet. Mill surplus to the south. That would be an interesting place to hit. Hopefully sooner. I just got to get around uh, uh, some things. <laughs> oh, yeah, I do. Why isn't it not showing? All right, why was I... Hmm. All right, I don't know what happened. We'll just say I was being silly. Slash stupid. All right, books are evaluated. It's a pretty good list. It's getting there. So now we've got uh, computers to the mid-level. All we need is SICP to finish that up. Um, still do want to get Dodge and healthcare and everything else done, but I need to stockpile a, a bit more in the way of calories and then not have things pouring down the stairs at me constantly. I don't know if I can make another trip out. Getting kind of worried about that. We've got more than enough books to keep us busy down here in the basement. I'm not worried about evolution factors. Um, what I don't have, like I said, is a lot of uh, calories. Eight microwave burritos? Well, that's nice. I thought it was going to be one microwave burrito. <laughs> So I don't have a large accumulation of calories just laying around, unfortunately. Um, and I'm going to need to go grab some more hydration as well. We've got like 20, I think, in the, uh, the water tank down here. So, priorities, priorities. Hmm. Could try taking the Humvee mm, to where, though? What would be most helpful? Probably the mill surplus would be the most helpful. Pick up some military rucksacks. Get the uh, the infamous sappy vest. Army helmet. Um, soldier clothes. Assuming I can get to it without getting swarmed. Get in, loot, and then get back out again. Which is in no way guaranteed. But at least it's open. It's not usually locked. We've got a hardware store down uh, to the west. But it's right next to a pool. Because of course it is. <laughs> the gun store is next to a pool. And across from a pool. Because, you know, of course it is. Still haven't found the gun store I would love to set up in. So... Another hardware store over here. 
be a little easier. So the more time I can pass, days that is, I can pass down in this basement to improve myself and to also increment the moon, the better. If I could just stay down here for the next week, I'd be happy to. I'd just sit down here and read books for a week because that would get us to the full moon stages where we'd get a, a whole lot more vision bonus up, up top. So staying alive until we get the moon bonus is one of the big benefits or strategies we need to pay attention to. So I might try to heal up this night, grab a couple of gallon jugs, go uh, get that clean water at the house next door. Got 89 clean water in the basement there, so I might shuffle up there and grab some clean water to cover us for a few days. It's just going to come down to how many times am I going to get erupted every time I try to sleep or, or do extended reading. All right, yeah, we're not going to go out again this evening, so let's keep everything we've got currently. I'm going to end up here. I don't know. I want to be near my stuff. Let's um, we'll stand here. That way, if they come at me, I can just move off of it. All right, uh, let's go for... We've got first aid one, right? Healthcare one, that is. <laughs> I'm not overly concerned about healing rates. We're not playing imperceptive healer or anything like that. So if we just keep throwing bandages and stuff on, it will be fine. I think I'd be better served by getting my dodge skill up right now. So let's try to do a little dodge training. It's also we're tired, so I got to figure when we're going to need to sleep. Yeah, I'm thinking dodge. I think dodge would be... Well, it's going to depend on the gear I pick up and if I'm going to go heavy protection, so I'm, I'm in heavily encumbered, which is going to tank my dodge anyway. If I want to keep running around light, then dodge definitely. But you, you got to kind of tailor the skill to your, your gear and the equipment you're going to put on. No point leveling dodge if you're going to rumble around in clothes that lower your effective dodge to zero anyway. For the moment, though, we are traveling pretty light, so that was the easy part. We got, uh, we were already fairly advanced in the first level. Um, focus 51 sucks. I'm worried about playing music. Do I have an MP3 player? I do. We'll go ahead and MP3. That'll help a tiny, tiny bit. Have a toast them, have some yogurt, and we're still hydrated. More dodge, please. <laughs> we're screwed. We're screwed. They just gave me the cold. <laughs> oh my god. Come on, game. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> that is so bad. I'm I'm we're, I'm I'm more unhappy about seeing the common cold than I am the stupid zombie. <laughs> the stupid zombies. Simple. The common cold is a nightmare <laughs> for this character. A nightmare. Oh my god, that common cold is terrible for us. Negative three strength. Negative one dex. Negative one perception. Negative two intelligence. Constant thirst and sleepiness. Oh, man. <laughs> it's so bad. We are so screwed now. Uh, why, oh, why did you have to do that to me, game? <laughs> I even uh, mentioned picking up the uh, cough syrup because we could get the cold. And look at that. Yet another fun activity the game has decided to hand us. And I'm still reading out loud, apparently. So all the zombies like to come visit me while I, I read out loud. <laughs> I just can't believe they gave me the cold on top of the rest. Uh, that's, uh, that's about two weeks. 
Two weeks! <laughs> the cold can last. Oh, <laughs> I was trying to sleep instead of read. Hit the wrong key. <laughs> I don't know how many times I can put up with this. I'll, I'll, I'll eventually start raging and... <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. I'm not talking about the cold. I'm talking about the... Uh, the uh, non-stop zombies visiting me in the basements when they can't see me, they can't hear me, they can't smell me. But somehow, somehow, <laughs> they just, in a non-stop stream, keep coming downstairs. Nah, it's not Wander Spawn. Wander Spawn is not on. <laughs> Wander Spawn gets blamed for a lot of stuff that Wander Spawn has no connection to. We're not even playing with Wander Spawns. This is Z level fuckery, so. This is all about goofy, just general goofy zombie behavior and their Z level nonsense and shenanigans they get up to. Z or Wander Spawns, when it is on, gets blamed for a lot of this, and it has nothing to do with Wander Spawns. Not even going to mess around with them anymore. I'm just going to smash them. <laughs> Hungry, huh? Well, have those cashews we just picked up. And some salmon. And let's go get a drink of water. Oh, tired but not dead tired. Focus still pretty bad, but that's normal for when we're reading constantly. Making very slow progress. Seven o'clock. I'll go to nine, I think. Yeah, we went dead tired already. Stop reading. Yep. All right. Kindle off. MP3 player off. We're hydrated. Let's, uh, let's grab uh, some tortilla chips. And let's see, lunch meat for sure. Better start into these microwave burritos too. All right, if I got my cough syrup, uh, I don't remember dropping it, but I don't see it here. Mm hmm. Definitely don't have enough of it for two weeks of us coughing away. Ugh, excuse me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hey, random zombie. Welcome to my basement. Was I snoring? <laughs> dance, dance, dance. Is that the other one that's... Uh, maybe that's the other one that's... Uh, dodge one. Oh, that's where I got confused. There's Book of Dances versus Dance, Dance, Dance. I bet this one is the Dodge one. Yeah, Dance, Dance, Dance is Dodge one. All right, now I understand. That's why I was confused. <laughs> Good to know. So, yeah, we've had multiple visitors, and uh, it's only 10.01. That's, that's, what, two so far in the first hour? Oh, man. Particularly bad. 
since we have a cold. Also, I probably should have thrown a bandage on, disinfectant on our torso there <laughs> and the leg. That's all right, though. <laughs> wow, we've actually managed to go a fair few hours before a zombie showed up. I'm gonna kill you. Oh nope. Apparently, I am not gonna not gonna kill you on my bed. <laughs> 